Well, here's what we're going to be making today. This beautiful roast leg of lamb with some roast potatoes and some steamed broccoli. Come on, let's get cooking. Right, what we're going to do here is make a bed of onions for the lamb to sit on. So you want them about half an inch or a centimetre, somewhere around there in width and enough that your leg of lamb can sit on. Once we've got those we can add sticks of celery and carrots on top of that and then the lamb can sit on them and slowly the juices from the lamb will work through to those vegetables and then at the end the lamb juices and those vegetables can go into a processor to make them a bit finer and use them to make a beautiful gravy. First a dash of olive oil Now the onions. onions. And now the celery and carrots. Right, so for the first part of Looking at our lamb, I've just cut off some really obvious fat from the top, especially where it's quite thick. Um, only two things can happen if there's too much fat there. Either it's not going to render, in which case it's going to be unpleasant, or it will all render and you'll end up with a fire inside your oven especially in the um, the starting moments so we're going to have it at about 180 for the first half hour and then we'll turn it down to 140 150 for the closing two hours but that looks good now we've got I'm not too concerned with that fat down the bottom there. Um, it's right on the bone. It doesn't appear to be that thick. And I don't think I'll bother about that. But this bit here, probably, that looks like it goes quite deep. So we'll take that out. You can go at this forever in a day um, and the other thing is it's a fine balance because you want some fat in there uh, to give it some flavour. So right now let's put the garlic in. So I'm going to put my garlic in the top here. Now those of you worried that it might dry out it won't. There we have it. Take your pieces of garlic. It's all right. Just cut them in half. Makes it a whole lot easier to insert them. Oh. There we go. And keep doing that until all these holes are filled with garlic. Now the reason I put the garlic on the top is so that the juices will run down the side of the piece of lamb and collect the garlic on the way through. 
once I've put this in I'm going to salt it and then it's into the oven at 180 degrees right let's do some salting and you don't want too much you don't want it to taste like corned beef <laughs> turn it over There we go, that's a ready to go onto the tray. Okay, there's a beautiful sight, isn't it? That's all ready to go into the oven. You can see how I've laid out the carrots and the celery and pushed the garlic into the top part of the leg of lamb. This is going to be a superb dinner. Let's get it in the oven. Right, firstly, let's peel our potatoes. And there we are. That wasn't hard, was it? I'm going to cut these in half and then I'm going to boil them for 10 minutes. And then we'll come back. Right, now here's our broccoli. I'm going to take that big one there and make it a bit smaller. Might do the same with that one. And these are beautiful steamed. Really yummy. If you like, you know, you're either really like broccoli or you don't, and I really love it, so there we go. That's all ready for later on. Let's see how these potatoes are doing. Right, this is exactly how you want your potatoes. A bit rough around the edges. In fact, the rougher the better. Now, if one of them's broken up a bit, that doesn't matter. We're going to get a um, pan now with some oil in. And we're going to crisp these up so that they're like baked potato, but better. So firstly, we'll put some rice bran oil in there and bring it up to temperature. Right, we're all ready for the potatoes now. Pull these away from you. Now those may look a bit of a mess at the moment, but I assure you they're going to come out beautiful and crispy. Right, the leg of lamb is out the oven and resting these potatoes. As you can see they've got a bit of brown on them now. We'll get them nice and crispy and then I'll pop them in the oven to keep warm while we steam the broccoli. Right, there's our beautiful crispy potatoes. All nicely ready now. I'm going to pop them in the oven and then they're going to join our roast lamb and our steamed broccoli. And then I can get it all into the mouths of people waiting. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope you do make this at home sometime and I will catch you on the next recipe.